Let's take a look at new feature in Pixel Composer 1.11. So the first thing is the version format change. From the previous version is 1.1.0. Now we just be called 1.10 and this version will be 1.11. So we have a series of new nodes. The first group of nodes is a node related to rigid body simulation. We have the rigid body group, rigid body object, rigid body spawner, the force supplier, the renderer, and the actuator. There is also a node related to blur, for example, the average colors, the radial blur, and we also have lens blur. There is a round corner node and a tunnel node, which allow you to pass value between nodes without any connection using the same keyword. Then we have the hold interpolation type which means there will be no interpolation and the value will just abruptly change. And the keyframe can now be longer than the animation length itself, allowing you to create a seamless loop. And using tab to navigate through each widget, it also works on pop-up dialog now as well. There's an option in an image array editor to sort array by names. You can now paste an image URL into the graph directly and it will just load the image and store it in a temporary location. You can now hold shift by holding on a junction to preview its content. And using extract to node, now also copy the value and animation to the new node as well. We have the dimension output properties for blend node. We have different slope shape property for bevel. The VFX renderer and effector now accept array. The threshold node also has smoothness properties. The part node can now also be animate. The cast shadow also get a new set of properties from light intensity, light banding, attenuation, ambient occlusion, and the ability to use background color as a shadow caster. The area node also can be defined type specific types, and there is also an option to manually add or remove member. The palette extract receives new algorithm that select node from frequency and an option to select all colors. The line renderer also have a new toggles to apply the width overlink over all the trim part and the renaming of some nodes for consistency. And as always, there are also a series of bug fixes being applied in this version. And there are also other improvements as well. The link to the full feature list will be in the description. And one last thing, Pixel Composer now have a Discord server that you can check link in the description. You can share your creation, you can suggest new feature and there is live development log so that you can see the feature being added in real time. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.